Would you? Okay. Now you probably heard the president uh, say that the crime rate is higher uh, that's that's been in 47 years. Okay. Now I don't know exactly where he got those statistics or why he said this, but uh, now the media has come down on him and say, well, he's wrong. You know, the, the crime rate has actually gone down. Well, let me say something. The crime rate has not gone down. The Africans, of course, we all know, commit the vast majority, about 80% of all the violent crime, even though they're 15% of the population. Uh, now, usually when they talk about crime, they usually mean uh, uh, murders, because murders, you can always count murders, you know. Uh, when it comes to assault and rape and robbery, for instance, you can get into degree of definitions. Sometimes it goes up, for instance, simply because people report a uh, simple touching or a, or, or a simple push as an assault, uh, which legally it is, you know, and uh, more and more women, for instance, are accusing uh, people of rape or sexual assault, even though, you know, it can be uh, something as, as uh, light as a kiss, for instance. But we go by murder rate and, uh, you know, murder rate is the standard because when you're dead, you're dead. When you're dead, you're dead, right? I mean, there's, there's no ambiguity there. Uh, and so, therefore, it can be measured uh, in, a, in a more accurate way. Now, the problem uh, has been with statistics, and that is that many times when somebody dies days after he's shot or is dead, it's that, it's, that's not considered a murder anymore for the most part. You know, cops have pretty much left the scene and the um, uh, victim is uh, in a hospital or maybe home and he dies and therefore, uh, you know, it's not considered m murder. So all these murders uh, are not counted. Now, the reason why this is happening and, you know, let me go back to my major point here is that in the past, I guess you can say, you know, 47 years or so, but specifically from the 19... 80s on, well, from the 1990s on, really, um, uh, there's been a revolution in uh, the ambulance system, or the so-called first responders, and the emergency room system. Now, there used to be a time when people used to get shot uh, and stabbed, and they'd be lying in the street sometimes for as much as an hour, an hour and a half before somebody came and took him to the emergency room, which many times was not designed for gunshot wounds or, um, um, you know, knife uh, stabbing, because emergency room for the longest time were designed mostly for things like heart attack, uh, you know, accidents uh, of various types, you know, broken bones, uh, people falling, etc., and and of course burn victims. This was you know th this was the idea of emergency room because when the crime rate was low in the 50s and before that, you know there was no need to take care of victims of gunshot wound or stabbing. Now what happened, of course, you know in the 60s and 70s when blacks began to move into the big cities from the north, the crime rate spiked. Uh, I mean, if you want to know the reason why crime rate goes up is because of the presence of blacks. There's no, there's no, you know, cutting corners here. We know that, for instance, in New York City, blacks commit uh, uh, over 80% of all the violent crime. White people, who are uh, slightly more than half of the population, commit 3% um, of all the violent crimes. And they're usually between people that, they, you know, know each other, things like, you know, husband and wife getting into fights. But blacks, of course, commit crime against other people, especially white people. And the other, of course, are committed by so-called brown people, Hispanics. And, and of course, you know, Asians have a very low uh, you know, crime rate. But what's happened is that the crime rate began to go down, not because there were fewer uh, black crime, black shooting, et cetera, but because, like I said, the emergency room and the ambulance system got much, so much better. So the average uh, arrival of an ambulance, for instance, uh, in, in New York City, just to take one city that had the most dramatic drop from like uh, 2,500 murders 
to something like about 400 murders. What is because uh, people who get shot and stabbed, etc., uh, are more likely to survive those traumatic injuries, and uh, because of the ambulance and because of the emergency room system, which has gotten so much better over the years. Like I said, where they introduced various elements, uh, various you know medical treatments and equipment that makes these people live. So really, what happened, really, if you really want to be real about it, is that the crime rate really hasn't gone, uh, gone down. It has probably at least, at least remained the same and maybe gone up. So Trump is right. It has gone up. You know, the only difference is that just the statistics of murder, because, you know, we know all other uh, type of crimes have gone up. I mean, if he had mentioned... Specifically, for instance, uh, acts of aggression, you know, knockout games, you know, blacks, you know, practice those all the time. They haven't stopped yet, even though it's off the news. And, uh, you know, racially motivated uh, assaults, uh, where 95% uh, of the racially motivated bias assaults, again, are committed by Africans. And, uh, you know, and, uh, and rape, of course, you know, rape has gone up through the roof, uh, again, because of, uh, you know, Africans uh, taking the lead in all of this crime rate. But they always go by the murder rate. But, you know, Africans haven't stopped murdering people. Like I said, people are more likely to, to survive because of the better emergency room system and the better ambulance system that has improved uh, its arrival time and its uh, you know survivability rate so that's so in many ways trump is right uh, crime has gone up uh, just you know uh, it, it it's gone down in respect of murder only uh, by the grace of god because you know white people have invented ways to keep people alive so that's the real story behind it. So Trump, uh, you know, like I said, should be given credit for pointing this out. And we should try to get rid of the scourge of really black crime, because there is no crime in America. There's only black crime in America. Blacks commit practically all the crime, all the rapes, uh, the vast majority of, of all robberies. So let's, let's keep things in perspective here. You know, as David Duke used to say, if you want to get rid of crime, get rid of niggers.